Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making a fun, cute card using the Ink and Tiled stamp set, the Masterfully Made Designer Series paper, the, um, what is this called? Nested Essentials dies, as well as the gorgeously made dies okay so before we get started on our project of course we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day so we're going to start with our august paper pumpkin meaningful flowers this kit is going to make eight cards and it's going to have a pretty peacock stamping spot all right there's a link in the description box below for you to subscribe to the paper pumpkin and if you want this particular kit you have until august 10th to subscribe to get it Next up, we have our bonus days. Yes, it is August. Happy August, everyone. You can now redeem your bonus days coupons that you earned last month. So go to your emails, get those codes, and place your orders, okay? You can use all of your coupon codes on one order, or you can split them up however you like. Next up, we have our August host code for the month. This is the code I would like for you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. And if your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you'll qualify for Stampin' Rewards. And Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stampin' Up! And we don't want you to miss out on that. And we also have our mystery boxes back. If you um, would like to get one, they're $40 each and they're filled with about $200 worth of new and used retired Stampin' Up! product. I can only ship in the U.S. and shipping is included in this $40 price. This is a um, medium flat rate box from the USPS and I will ship this out to you directly if you would like one. Just email me at stampwithshauna at gmail.com, okay? And that is all of our buzzworthy business for the day. So let's get started on our project. So what we have here is a card base of Berry Burst and it is at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We have some Pretty Peacock, which is just scrap. We have some fresh freesia. This is one by four and, a, um, four, four and one quarter. Get it out. <laughs> we have some basic white for our inside. This is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then we have our designer series paper that we're going to be using. This is designer series paper, three and a half by four and three quarters. Oh, the same as our inside. Duh. I should have remembered that. <laughs> and this strip is... Um, a half inch and we're going to cut it down to the uh four and three quarters so let's go ahead and use that now we we'll get some tombow liquid glue and put that on for the inside of our card i put a lot of glue that's a bit much we're gonna have to let this sit for a minute where's my silicone mat because this is going to squish out Uh, why did I use so much glue? You see it squishing out to the side there? Let me move it because I got to see the edge of this. Okay. So we're going to sit this to the side to let it um, dry a little bit before we um, put it on the inside of our card. So while we're waiting on that, we're going to go ahead and do our stamping for our sentiment this is the only stamp that we're going to do this is a quick and simple card and we're going to do some heat embossing so let's get all of our stuff together here's my little embossing buddy if you hear that noise it's raining it's about this it's about to storm it's lightning and everything so let me see do 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 do, do. stamp we're going to stamp uh oh um hello friend let's see how are we cutting this out? Let me stamp it on it this way. So let's do hello friend right here. And we are wanting to do some white embossing powder. So we're gonna get that on there. Oh boy, it's really coming down out there. And we're gonna get this off. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's move this to the side and do some heat embossing. Let 
Okay, so we have this all heat embossed and it's cooled off. We're going to take one of the nested essential dies and we're going to die cut this out. This is going to just barely fit inside of our frame here. But we're going to tack this down with some washi tape. Probably need to get some new pieces. I've been using these a lot. Okay, and we're going to die cut that out and then while we're die cutting we're going to take this piece and we're going to use this die from the um oh no i forgot the name of it already let me see <laughs> the gorgeously made dies okay so this is going to go at the top of our paper like this so we want to Hold this down as well. Um, let me get some washi and hold this down. We're going to bring in this. Stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we are going to do our die cutting. Okay, so let's put our plates down. And let's, where's the, let's do our sentiment. Then let's do this piece. So whoop, come back here. I really need this to stay on. We're going to have to run it through this way. This is my first time using this die, so hopefully I put it on here correctly. Let's move this out of our way. Bring back our other, our sentiment layer. Get this. Ooh, I did it right. Yay. Because <laughs> I know sometimes I think I know what I'm doing with a die and I put it on the opposite way and it cuts down into the paper. Okay. So we're going to add this on to our cart base with some liquid glue here. And I just want to put a little dab on these little tabs up at the top we're just going to try to center this on our card base get it straight just like that then we're going to take this um fresh freesia piece we're going to lay it across right up under the stitching. Just like that. Okay, and so then we're gonna get some stamping dimensionals. Let's get some black ones and put it on our sentiment here. pop this up on our card then we can go back and do the inside and then after the inside we can add our bling okay so I think I think I think I want to put this about right here Try to get it straight. Just 
just like that. Okay, now let's get our inside. It should be dry enough to get everything taken care of. Okay, let's put some glue on the back of this. Ooh, not on our fingers. <laughs> That's not good. And we'll put this on the inside of here. Like that. This is so pretty, these colors. Okay, and then we're going to get our Take Your Pick tool and add some bling. And the bling that we're using is the um, Adhesive Back Sequence, Sequence Trio. It has the Pretty Peacock White and Berry Burst. So I think I want to use some of the small Pretty Peacock. I think I'll use, I think I'll use two small ones, maybe, maybe a little bit more. How about we use two small ones on each side of the bigger one, like that. I think that's cute. Yeah, I could have lined it up a little better. Then I want to put... What is that, five? I want some down here. I'll put a big one and a small one. Where did it just go? We'll do that. And call this card done. Yay. Isn't that cute and simple? I like it, though. You know what I could have done? Ooh, I could have emboss this using an embossing folder this little fresh freezer strip that would have been cute for some reason that strip is not looking like it's even it looks like it's a little wider on this end oh my goodness did i not cut that right but uh, it's done whatever <laughs> okay you guys that is it that's all don't forget to leave a comment like share and subscribe and as always i would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today until next time buzz you later Bye.